After showcasing some of my favorite plugins under $50, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite free VST plugins which have at least been as impactful within my productions. So let's dive into it. Coming in at number 5 is Frank Pohl's F-Base, which is a patcher emulation of Waves R-Base, which we discussed in my 5 plugins under $50 video. To illustrate this bass enhancement plugin, I'm applying it on the kick used in my David Guetta Blue remake, as I felt the kick could use some more body and thump. Let's AB the plugin to see what it does. Now inside F-Base there are various knobs you can play with. The drive slider to introduce additional driving force, the even harmonic slider which is great for adding richness, and the odd harmonic slider which is useful if you're looking to add a bit of a more aggressive harmonic character. And similar to my beloved R-Base, you also have the ability to select the frequency range to apply the bass enhancement to. At number 4 is Softube Saturation Knob, which is ideal for providing dominance and presence to practically anything. To highlight the power of this plugin, I'm applying it to the bass guitar found within my remake of The Weekends Take My Breath, as I initially felt the bass was a bit faint and lacked warmth. In this scenario, I'm going to be applying the plugin subtly and have the saturation type set to keep low, as I do not want to overly crunch the bass. Still, with these settings, you can hear an immediate boost in warmth and presence, resulting in a fuller sound, really helping shape the overall drive of the bass guitar. Coming up next is DJM Filter, which provides a solid basis for any of your low pass or high pass filter needs. This one has been in literally every single one of my projects for the better part of a decade. And what makes it so great is that it can be controlled through one knob, or technically two if you include the resonance knob. To show you both its effectiveness and simplicity, I'm going to dive back into my Martin Garrix and Zed's Follow remake, where I use DJM Filter to automate the synths leading up to the chorus. Now I'm particularly using this to slowly introduce several of the high energy elements through a low pass automation clip to ensure nothing comes in too abruptly. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me break down another Garrix tune somewhere in the future. Second on our list is a plugin I always count on for introducing retro character and width, which is Tell Chorus. And this emulation of the Juno 60 Chorus is great for providing depth and harmonics in an analog retro sounding fashion. Take this example here where we incorporated this plugin on the opening pad in my How To Disco Pop video. When applied, you can instantly hear a much more impactful performance coming from the pad through the additional warmth and character tell chorus adds, making our synth as a whole sound much more exciting and rich. And I'm also applying tell chorus to the mute electric guitar found in the same disco pop session. And again, this plugin really manages to add quite a bit of character and depth. Finally, coming in at number one is Labs by Spitfire Audio, a plugin packed with software instruments, kind of like a free alternative to contact, filled with great as well as highly unique sound sources. I've used this VST on numerous occasions, for instance inside my remake of Coldplay's My Universe to recreate the soft piano we hear in the second verse.
And I was honestly quite impressed when I first heard this soft piano, which also works great for more emotional piano pieces in songs that require this authentic sounding softer piano sound. But even for synths, I just love this plugin. I, for example, layered two patches from the Synthpads package to create these very dreamy and atmospheric sounding pads in my How to Olivia Rodrigo video, while automating the dynamic sliders to gradually introduce them to the listener. To summarize, this plugin is amazing for its wild range of instruments, which generally sound great right out of the gate, and that is why Labs is my favorite free plugin at the moment. If you found this video to be useful, I encourage you to engage in the comments below and to subscribe to the channel. I've also made a video compiling my 5 favorite plugins under $50, which you can watch somewhere here. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.